realistic or anything else. This really works. It's a high ratio of success. And I think this is one of the skills to get arm locks that no matter what fighting sport you're in, this is a good one. Okay. Ronda Rousey did this in judo, and guess what? She's doing it in MMA. Okay. Um, my guys here have done a lot of tournaments, and a lot of you guys probably have too. This is the head roll approach to doing Juju Yatami. What we're doing, we should be calling it head roll, we're rolling the opponent over his head, okay, as opposed to his hip or some other body part. So it's the head roll Juju. Derek's got a ride on Jared here, okay? What he's going to do, he's going to start crawling all over this guy and getting it done. So he's going to start setting up. Now watch when he does this, he's got his back. He's got, Derek's got Jared's back, okay? Now, he's going to immediately start trapping. Look at his right arm. He's underhooking the arm he's going to lock. So if you have trouble seeing this, come around here where you can see this, okay? So he's going to hook here. All right. Now, see the position of Derek's body? He's going to turn it where it's a little more sideways, so his head is now going to be on the mat. If he has to post with his hand initially, fine. But the top of his head is on the mat. That's key. Don't have your face, don't plant your face, don't have the side of your head. You've got to be on top of your head because, but see what, if he went on his one shoulder, that's the only way he can roll, okay? He might have to roll, he actually wants to roll the other way, so he doesn't want to do that. So he's on top of his head. Now, this foot back here, his right foot is the anchor foot, okay? So, come on, everybody come over here so you can see the anchor foot. See how his right foot is trapping the, the, the left leg, the left upper hip here. That's really important. It keeps him, keeps the bottom man from getting away. Now see what we've got is a nice control ride going here, all right? See he's kind of like an L shape, okay? Now, with this hand, the hand is close to the head, he's going to now hook, and he's trapping that arm really solid. He's trapping. Now, with this knee, he's actually going to put the top of his foot, his instep, on the back of the bottom man's head. Now look at this angle here. Everybody see this position? See the control here? See the control here? See the post of the head? Now, he's done this with his left arm. He's really chopped and controlled. He's, he's trapped that arm. Okay. Now, with his right hand, he can grab a leg, grab a jacket, or he may not need to grab anything. Let's say he wants to grab, say, yeah, let's start. Like in a no gi situation, like in our shorts, like we do in sambo, MMA, you can like hook his hook his leg, grab the ankle, any of these things to hook. Okay, they're traps to pull them over. Now watch what he's going to do. He's going to drive this knee in, roll him over, immediately kick his leg over, and finish the juju. So he's he's he stayed he stayed round, didn't he? Earlier I said one of the key rules in ground fighting is to stay round. This shows you why. Okay? Let's look at it again. So he, he used to start from a standing there. It's like a standing there. Now, in he might have knocked him down. Bam! He's going to dig in. Start, look how he's starting to trend. Crawling all over this guy. He knows exactly what he wants to do. Finishes him. So that's the head roll approach. Key things to point out. you got to get on top of your head. you got to kind of shape him an L. With, in this case, it's his right foot. He anchors it. This shin, instep, put on the back of the guy's head. You can do it with your whole leg, but it works a lot better. It's more effective if you use the instep of your right in here, where the laces of your shoe might be in it. You know, like or you good on that? We'll come around and help you a lot. But that's the fundamentals of it. If you get this moved down, and there are a lot, there are a lot of parts to it, so that's why you have to drill on it every practice. And if you get this down, you will unlock a lot of pieces. It works really well. So we'll start.